What about us? We'll always have Paris. And we are back. We're going to be talking about acute versus delayed hemolytic transfusion reactions. Telling these two types of blood fusions apart sounds like a slam dunk. One happens acutely and one happens in delayed fashion. Well, yeah, that's kind of true, but it's much more involved than that. So let's go ahead and talk about the differences. First, acute hemolytic transfusion reactions. These happen suddenly during a transfusion. They usually are due to uh, patient antibodies against ABO antigens on donor cells. Hemolysis is mostly intravascular. And the symptoms you will see, sudden onset fever, chest pain, hypotension, and feeling of impending doom. And uh, the hemoglobin in serum, you will see hemoglobin in the serum and in the urine. Labs, decreased free haptoglobin, increased bilirubin, and of course the DAT is positive. Type and cross match show ABO mismatch and this can be fatal. And next let's talk about delayed hemolytic transfusion reactions. These happen days after transfusion are due to patient antibodies against non-ABO antigens on donor cells. The hemolysis is mostly extravascular. Symptoms, failing hemoglobin after transfusion, Labs, DAT positive, antibody screen identifies the antibody, and it's usually not severe. So to read more, go to Robin's 9th edition, page 665. And thanks for tuning in, and remember, if you want to get more of these Path Bites, you can go to the webpage of Dr. Christine Kraft at www.pathologystudent.com.